Hello and welcome to this final video on getting your machine set up. In this video, we're basically gonna just get, gonna get the Azure CLI in place. So if you're gonna be doing Azure development, you're gonna need the Azure CLI. So we're gonna just go ahead and do an Azure CLI download here and install the Azure CLI for Windows. And we'll hit this install. So we're gonna get the latest release of the Azure CLI 64 bit. And we'll get this installed on our machine. And so once that's done, of course, you can go ahead and run the installation. Shouldn't take very long. Um, again, just read the EULA, accept the terms, and hit install. And we'll get the tools installed into our machine here. All right, so the installation has completed. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish that. Now you could do this from any spot on your machine, uh, any terminal. Typically you're gonna likely be in Visual Studio Code. So it doesn't really matter if you're in PowerShell or Bash, either one, uh, they'll both work. If you're in Windows Terminal running it, it's fine as well. Um, but typically, again, you'd be developing some sort of project over here and obviously not, maybe not Java, but uh, whatever you're doing uh, and then you would just say i want to see az dash dash version right what version of the azure cli do i have and hopefully that'll let us know my cli is up to date you can see that my cli is 2.55.0 at this point so i'm good to go and just to validate that everything's good i'm going to go ahead and do an az login and that's going to prompt me to log in through the browser so i should see a browser pop open here i've already previously logged in so that i could save this a little bit and not have to do two-factor auth. Uh, so that should take care of that. That should get me logged in. And then if I just do another clear here, az account show dash dash or dash o table. So basically just show some information about the account that I'm logged in and you can see that I'm, I'm, I'm in and good to go. So nothing too spectacular or fancy there, but now I do have the az CLI or the Azure CLI ready to go on my machine so that I can do additional cloud native development against Azure from my local box. That's going to wrap up this video and ultimately wrap up the video series in general for getting our machine set up. Unless I think of something and add it later, but this will be it for now. So thank you very much for sticking with me. Hope you found this useful. We'll see you next time.